Well, we have a saying here that we have only two big time, very important techniques in martial arts. One of them is paying undivided attention, and the second one is to bow, which is to respect teachers, elders, and parents, and friends. And it's funny because a lot of people come, you know, when they ask, when they come in the door, we ask them to bow and drop their head down. And a lot of students do, do that every day when they come in. Sometimes they'll forget, and we have to remind them. Sometimes I forget, and people have to remind me. But um, a lot of people come in here and they'll learn how to do certain kicks, certain punches, and they'll learn all these fancy moves. They think martial arts is about kicking and punching. I know martial arts is about them coming in and simply dropping their head and bowing. All the people that I've come into contact with here, Mr. Farvors, Mr. John, Mr. Farmer, and Lori in the office, they're lovely people and excellent role models. They really are. They have such care and concern and for each student, not only how they're doing here, but in every aspect of their life. Really, I just, they're wonderful. We love it here. I think in, in the martial arts alone, it's important for kids. And Hapkido is actually a very versatile art. And it teaches the kids many different techniques and different things that will help them from day to day life. She's more flexible and she has more self-confidence. And um, she has learned, you know, to discipline herself. At Team Karate Centers, I've gained self-confidence and respect for others. I've seen a lot of changes in the kids since they've been studying. They're, they have goals to work for now. They're so much more proud of themselves. They seem to try harder. And I don't know, they're just a lot happier and they love it. It's great. I'm on the staff and I'm the gymnastics coach. In gymnastics, um, the children are from ages 5 up to 45. Um, the adults have a class also from beginning to advanced. The beginners usually learn forward rolls, backward rolls, back walkovers, and gymnastics helps them with them, their flexibility in karate also. Some of, the, some of the exercises that I really work with the kids is on their fine motor skills. And we teach them about balance and about um, their, their power, and we work on their strength. We also develop a lot of, you know, a lot of the, the muscles in their bodies, so, which will help them for the rest of their lives. You know. I think it's wonderful at Team Karate Centers. Mr. John and Mr. Farbors are the most excellent instructors I have ever had the pleasure of knowing. Karate really helps me to be better in my other sports. He was uh, very shy when we first brought him here. He um, good, as, very good student, but he was very, very shy. Uh, not able to make a lot of friends real easy. Uh, now he has a lot of friends in school. He loves school. He's always loved it. Loved the academy. Uh, so he has gained a lot, a lot from the academy. Special winning attitude teams um, are our instructor in tr instructor drums. So these are kids that we feel, you know, may want to go on to help be instructors or even adults. We have an adult program, and um, they also, you know, they do some dem demonstrations and. Um, they're just there f to help and the classes and they provide, they've all made a commitment to go into the classes and be there for the other students.
TKC, the children get to challenge each other in every way, especially uh, going for higher ranks. Uh, they get to know more about martial arts and uh, more discipline, which is very important for each parent. A lot of parents think just because they're going to learn how to, um, they're going to learn martial arts, they're going to be exposed to a lot of fighting and all that. And it is true that they're going to be exposed to that, but we have the way, we have the way to present it to them in a different way. So they're not looking at it as a violent thing. We teach exactly what the parents teach at home. We teach the kids self-discipline and self-esteem, how to you know, make themselves feel good about themselves, how to care for themselves, how to take care of themselves. At the same time, have more value for human life, have more value for other people. Um, and through martial art, this is possible. I mean, to learn how to be more humble by learning how to control their body and how to defend themselves. A major misconception that most, I feel most parents have about putting their kids in karate is that it will um, encourage their kids to become more violent where we find that it's actually the opposite. Kids who take karate tend to stay out of violent situations and um, you know are less likely to get in fights or in those confrontational situations. I had a lot of concerns about it at first being so physical but it's such a whole body and mind positive experience for them as in keeping your body healthy, keeping your mind healthy, being open to new things. The sparring is strictly all controlled, and students really learn how to control. And it's amazing, you know, all this time for the last 12 years that I've been teaching, we've never had serious injuries. You know, so you can, you can do anything and get hurt. Um, but as long as it's supervised and you, you under supervision of instructors and stuff, the chances are very slim. They get a better grades because they won't be able to go for a higher rank belt unless they have good grades at school and they have to bring their report cards to show to their instructors. It channels their energy in such a positive, productive way. Everything they do with their schoolwork and their home life it's all together with it. I've become a lot more disciplined. I've realized that dif discipline is something that you have to do or that you make yourself do, not something that you necessarily want to do. Gymnastic, I think, is very, very important for, for children. For adults, a mm, little bit, you know, if somebody's really interested. But children is very important because I strongly believe gymnastics has a certain attributes that it teaches, like timing as far as air sense, a little more body coordination, and it's a little bit, it breaks the, the rhythm of, of the traditional martial arts hardcore, you know, so, and the kids like that. STORM, the special team of role models, is a program we have for our, our young students who are just exceptionally great kids. I mean, they're just always in class, listening, and uh, we reward them and we encourage that positive behavior so that other children see that and see, wow, you know, I just, I want to be on the storm. I want to be just like Sanaz, or I want to be just like this, this person. I would like to introduce you to a special group of people. This group is called STORM, and the STORM stands for... Special Team of Role Models! 
We do special um, events like sleepovers. We offer birthday parties for a lot of kids, and what they do, the kid will invite a whole bunch of friends over, and we'll have a birthday party party for them. And we um, we make the birthday boy or birthday girl um, the master instructor, and um, it's a pretty fun thing for them. Everybody gets the chance to be introduced to, to martial arts. We do, like I said, we do sleepovers every couple months. The kids come over here and sleep over, and which is a, they have a blast. It's a great thing for them. So we try to keep their interest. Um, up and towards a positive thing you know so we try to get them to do a lot of other activities we have pizza night or we'll have movie days or where the kids all go out and, and see a certain movie um, I'm really into academic achievement programs with the kids which is we, um, we encourage the kids to bring report cards and we give out report cards that's one thing that makes us so unique we send report cards to all the parents every um, two to three months so we give feedback, and I strongly believe that breakfast of champions is feedback. So we, we, I personally live by that. So I give feedback to my students, and we ask for feedback from the students about how we're doing. So we ask them to bring their report cards, and we have um, karate bucks, which we buy the A's from all the students. You know, so if they bring me report cards full of A's, we, we buy them for karate bucks, and they can spend their karate bucks here. Um, I was in a foot sweeping karate tournament and I won fourth place and I got a trophy and a medal. <laughs> I would like to uh, congratulate TKC and I would like to thank them for what they have done for me, my family and my two kids and they are the greatest.